And we, uh, this is a, a kind of a clergy segment uh, where we're uh, bringing on some of the, uh, the, the, the men who lead uh, parishes, uh, especially at um, uh, the, the, the parish nearby here, Good Shepherd in Colleyville. No, and Deacon Matt's going to stick with us. All right, you've got, two, you've got a double segment with you, so Deacon Matt's going to stay with us. Uh, loan officer at my mutual from Farmington, New, New Mexico, and also a deacon. And also, Deacon Pat Lavery uh, at, from Good Shepherd Parish joins us as well. And somebody who I'm meeting for the first time, recently ordained priest. Uh, he's a TOR, which you'll explain to us what that means. An associate pastor at Good Shepherd Parish. Let me bring in first uh, Father Jason... Will hand? Did I get that right, Father? Yes, but well, close enough. <laughs> okay, fine. sometimes close enough is yeah, okay yeah, for, for a fast broadcast. It's very good, actually, for a first try. <laughs> I, I'm very familiar with the TORs, and I know many of my priest friends are TORs, and they have a strong presence here in the Fourth Diocese. But uh, for those who don't know what the TOR means, tell us about that and, and your own story of uh, God calling you to the priesthood. Okay, so I'm a Franciscan. Uh, so what TOR stands for is Third Order Regular. So Franciscan going all the way back to St. Francis of Assisi. A lot of people know at least something about St. Francis of Assisi, but if you don't know, he was from the 1200s time period. He originally was uh, just started, there was just a group of men that just started following him in his way of life, and that became the Franciscans, and it's lasted to this day. The reason why this is Third Order Regular is because there were also a group of people that followed him that became the third order. They were the lay people, the married couples, the diocesan priests who followed Francis in their own way. But from that order became, there also came about friars so and sisters groups. So what we are are the third order regular, and you still have the secular Franciscans to this day who are the married couples and the lay people, and it's a real order called uh, SFO, secular Franciscans, but we are the TOR, third order regular. So that's the friars and sisters as well. And so the, the, the TOR service, the Fort Worth Diocese, you're not diocesan priests, but uh, how, who kind of uh, moves the chess pieces around and says, okay, you're going to be at this parish. Uh, who, I, who is your direct superior, I guess? Yeah, the way I like to describe it is that we are staffing parishes for the diocese. We, as well, third order regular friars, are international. So we actually have a couple of our provinces staffing parishes here in the Fort Worth Diocese. I am with what's called the Province of the Most Sacred Heart. So if you've ever heard of Franciscan University in Steubenville, it's a big name, or St. Francis University in Loretto, Pennsylvania, that's my province that I'm with. And we have three parishes here, Good Shepherd Parish in Colleyville, St. Andrew Parish in Fort Worth, and St. Maria Goretti Parish in Arlington. And so we have three of our friars at each one of those parishes, so nine friars total from our province here in the diocese. We also have friars from our order from India and Mexico as well, in staffing parishes in this diocese. And we, although we are our own order, we still follow the directives of the bishop. He still has to uh, say, you could say, what happens in his own diocese and how parishes can be run. But we also are underneath our own order, so we kind of decide who comes here and whatnot, with the bishop's permission, of course. And um, so we work with the bishop, we work alongside him, we help him out by staffing these uh, parishes but we follow him and we also follow our own, our own order but what makes us unique is that we live out that franciscan charism that franciscan religious life while um working at these parishes so for a good a shepherd for example we take our fraternity very seriously so you'll see all three friars con celebrating at all the masses throughout the weekend to show our fraternity to the people 